Hello all saints, welcome to our worship this week. How amazing that you are all back in school together. Have a look around and see the smiling faces of all of your classmates. Give them a little wave, give them a big smiley, grinny, Cheshire, Cheshire cheesy smile. Isn't it great that uh, we have been able to, to gather back together? It's still not possible for us to gather as one big group for the assembly, but those days are coming and we're going to think a little bit about that today. But our question as we begin, what is the most surprising present you have ever received? What is the most surprising present you have ever received? So I wonder if your presents were as surprising as this. This! Who knows what this is? Look, it's huge. It's bigger than my head. Absolutely massive. On a big, long pole. What do you think this is for? This was my birthday present from my family when I had my birthday recently. What do you think it is for? That's right. It's for sliding into the oven and lifting out our pizzas. I've got a pizza stone to go with it because in our, in our house, on a Friday night, we have uh, homemade pizzas and they're delicious. We make our own bread dough and we roll it out really, really thin and then we get a bit of tomato and then we put anything else that we can find to go on it and we put them in the oven and uh, they cook really quick and they're really delicious. So that was surprising, wasn't it? Look at that, it's massive, absolutely massive. Now, I got another surprising present. I got this book here, The World Made a Rainbow by Michelle Robinson, illustrated by Emily Hamilton and supporting the charity Save the Children. Have you seen this book before? Has anyone else got this book? There's a note inside. Let me read it to you. Happy birthday, Reverend Mike. Giving you a children's book for your birthday may seem a bit strange, but I think this is a wonderful book for children and adults. And let's face it, it's always good to see the rainbows on cloudy days or at cloudy times. That lovely note. Should we read the story and see what it says? The world made a rainbow. All of the world had to stay home today. I wish that it didn't. I wanted to play. I missed everybody. My grandma, my friends. My mum said, you'll see them once everything mends. Let's paint a big rainbow to put on display. When people pass by and see it, they'll say, all rainstorms must end. And this rainstorm will too. And they'll feel a bit happier. All thanks to you. So we dig out the paint pots. I love making art. We've got loads of red, so I make a good start. But red makes me think of the chairs in my class. Mum gives me a cuddle. This rainstorm will pass. I can't reach the orange, but Mum has to work. And Dad's with my brother, who's going berserk. I start on the yellow. It's bright like the sun. I splodge it around with the red. It's good fun. I made my own orange, but I can't make green. I need blue for that, and the blue pot's wiped clean. I start to feel lonely. I start to feel sad. Then, how about odd bits of cardboard, says Dad. He cuts and I stick, and my brother helps too. We have to mix flour and water for glue. It looks really good, like the ocean, says Mum, and all the adventures we've still got to come. The seaside, the city, the forest, the park. The light couldn't shine if it never knew dark. And rainbows can't colour the world without rain. So we get back to work on my rainbow again. I've never been quite sure what indigo's like. Dad laughs. Indigo? 
like your very first bike. And they dig out a memory box I've never seen, packed with mementos from places we've been. I shout indigo as I spot mum's jeans. Well, I can't cut them out, so we use magazines. Then dad takes a snapshot for gran and I say memories are good. We'll make more every day. My rainbow looks great. There's just Violet to go. Violet, the loveliest person I know. Violet's my best friend. I miss her so much. Mum fetches her laptop. Let's put you in touch. And would you believe Violet feels just like me and she's making a rainbow for people to see. We walk to see her and she walks to see, she, we walk to see hers and she walks to see mine. We wave to each other and really it's fine. Not perfect, but neither's my rainbow. So what? I'm perfectly happy with all that I've got. Violet, my parents, my brother, my friends. And we'll still have each other when this rainstorm ends. Look at that. What a wonderful story. I know that it feels a little bit, doesn't it, like at the moment that the rainstorm is passing, we're back in school together, but there's still some things that are different. But we're heading in the right direction. It might be that today is a rainy day. Certainly, as I record this, the weather forecast says it's going to be a rainy day. But we can still hope and we still long for the times when it will be all back to the joy and the hope and the happiness that we have enjoyed. It's because of the rain that we get to see the rainbows. And that is a wonderful thing. On Sunday morning, it was a joy that we were able to be led in our sung worship by, um, by Sam and by Zach and, uh, and Jacob and Molly joined in too. So we're going to sing a song together that we sang on Sunday morning. I hope that you like it. It's, uh, it's one that brings great joy to my heart. And uh, we'll sing this together and then we'll pray.
you enjoyed that wasn't that great so lovely that as we start to come back together as we start to find ways to to reconnect some bits are starting to get a little bit more normal and I'm really looking forward to the time when I can be in school with you and we can do these assemblies face to face and we can ask each other questions and learn from one another but for now as we draw our time together this morning to a close let me pray our teaspoon prayers and, uh, and we'll see how God might be popping an idea into our own head. If God does do that as you're, as you're praying um, and something just comes into your imagination, try and write it down or draw a picture or scribble something, something that you might be thankful for, something you might want to say sorry about, something you want to ask God to help you with. And let's pray together. Lord God, we thank you for rainbows on cloudy days. We thank you that we have already been able to see so much of the light that is shining as we've come back to school together. We thank you that we're beginning step by step, day by day, to get back to normal. Lord, we're sorry for those times when we have felt like this will never end and we've not been able to trust that you have got everything under control. And Lord, please help us to look forward with joy and anticipation to a bright and beautiful future together where we get to see our friends and our family and we get to join in with sharing your light and your love and your hope into our community. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Lovely to be with you today. Looking forward to being with you again next week. Next week, we'll be thinking about Mothering Sunday. It's Mothering Sunday on Sunday. So don't forget to draw a card or write a card to the person who helps to look after you and helps to mother you. Um, it'd be great to be able to share some of that hope, won't it, in different ways. Maybe we'll talk about that a little bit more when we're together next week. But for now, have a wonderful week and I will see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.